Hey you guys, welcome back for another video and today we're gonna unbox my new BoxyCharm for the month of March and this is the BoxyCharm basic box so this is gonna be, it's a subscription box so normally this is 25 for the basic box and it comes with 4 to 5 full size products and if you haven't already please watch my boxy premium unboxing that was just all Fenty Beauty products and I'll probably have that link down below if you want to check that out so let's go ahead and get into this video so let's go ahead and open this up as when you open this up it looks like this and I'm not seeing a pamphlet anywhere I'm not sure if they're getting rid of that but let me open up my boxy charm the website on my phone real quick so I can get the prices of each item all right so the first thing in here is a lip line corrector lip serum from the brand QMS okay and this retails for $200 okay so it looks like and okay so you twist it and it opens up. I mean, that's pretty cool. And let's see if there's any distro. Alright, so it's not telling you how to use it on the website. Because I'm on the. Oh, hold up. Alright, so you just put it on your lips over so and grab some. It's all white, little consistency. Okay, so I guess it's on there or whatever. I mean, that's pretty cool. I never thought Boxy Charm hats. I mean, that's pretty. That's already worth more than this box because this is supposedly 200 So the next thing in here is. Some tweezers from uh, Chelsea. Open this up. How much these retail for? Okay, these are retail for twenty dollars for some tweezers. That's not bad. I mean, for your average tweezers. Okay, there's a little sticker on there. Okay, so these are just regular tweezers. They have a little opening right here, so you can just put your fingers right in. Put your lashes on. So I'm probably gonna try these when I put my lashes after I try the eyeshadow palette in this box. So let's see how those work. I mean, they're pretty sturdy. I mean, for tweezers, you can never have too many because you can always put them in your bag or let your mom have them because my mom only sticks my tweezers. So. I think I got this one. No, wait, no, I didn't get this in a boxy charm. I got somewhere else. But yeah, I mean, they're pretty sturdy. You can never make a bad tweezers, I don't think. Okay, and the next product in here is from Becca. And this is a uh, glow gloss in the shade Chocolate Clay. So let me check how much this is. Okay, it's $22, the gloss. So, let's open it up. Ooh. Okay. This is cute. Okay. Ooh. I'll go ahead and put some on the lips. I'm going to open it up. It looks like this. Ooh. Nice and clear. And it doesn't smell like chocolate, it smells like mint, like straight up peppermint. 
can dry it on mine. All right, and then let's put some on the lips. I don't know how I feel about brown lip gloss, but we're gonna try it out. I mean, it feels really minty. And I don't mind the color. So. I mean, it's an interesting lip gloss. So, I mean, it's cute. For $20, this is pretty nice. Okay. And to the next product in here is a Kat Von D. I mean, KVD Vegan Beauty. We have a ooh, eyebrow pencil. And it's in the shade Rapprit. I don't know how to pronounce that. It. It's black. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh. So it looks like. Okay, so it's for the eyebrow. I thought that was a lip pencil. Let's see how much this retails for. Okay, this retails for $21. And since I already did my eyebrows. I'll probably review this on another video. Because I don't want to redo my eyebrows. And this is in a black shade. I'll probably swatch it for you guys. But let me see. It looks a little rough because I don't know every time I want to put pressure on it, it breaks easily. So I'm not sure if mine's dried out already, which is kind of weird. So I love Kat Von D. Beaut I love her brand, but since she doesn't own it no more, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's starting to get the color as soon as you like over aligned it with more, with some more color, but. Okay, it comes with a little thing thing to clear up the brows so I will keep this it does not give me a good pigment so all right so the last thing in here is what I'm really excited about is trying out the Foxy Charm eyeshadow palette and this is I think this is the first palette they release with their name on it I believe because I know they release their own makeup brushes and now the palette and this is retail for $39 so that's pretty good and I actually kind of want to get the pharmacy very cherry clean cleansing balm so I really was hoping to get it in my box instead of the tweezers but I guess it wasn't meant to be if you can focus on it I was hoping to get this instead of the tweezers or instead of the lip gloss it's, it's a really strong minty smell but I'm still going to use this so we'll see in the future because I did want to try that one I was really hoping for that so let's go ahead and open our main attraction the eyeshadow palette alright so when you open it up 
it says hello charmer and has all the little social media hashtags and title things That's what the back looks like okay very pretty very boxy charm actually all right and then when you open it up here it is very beautiful i like this shimmer right here and the blue one all right and then the names are so cute because it says boxy charm all right boxy and then it says charmer full size exclusive spoiler luxe unboxing sneak peek premium swipe up pop up and cup of joe cute i think that's cute for this little palette and this shot um eyeshadow palette is mostly like it's a little bit of everything because you have your neutral and then your little pop of color and shimmers so let's go ahead and finish this eye look up with this eyeshadow palette so First shade we're going to go and try out is, I'm going to try Spoiler to set the base, so yes, and it does have a mirror on it, and then it, ha and if you see right here it has the little heart, because with every time you get boxy charm it has a little heart thing, it's like so cute, alright so let's go ahead and go into Spoiler. Alright, I'm gonna tap off the axis and just go ahead and go in there. Okay. Ooh. And the next shade we're going to go in is Unboxing, which is the red shade right here. So let's dive in that one. Okay. And then go on the corner right here and start patting it down. On the other side, you want to pat it down. Okay, and then we're going to bend it upwards slowly, but not too much. And then let's go in with the other brush and then we'll slowly go over it. So far looking cute. Alright, and the next shade I want to use is the swipe up because that is really pretty. So let me go ahead and swap shit real quick. Oh my oh my gosh, this is really creamy. Okay. Looks like. And let me swatch it on the arm. It feels like sand kind of, but it's like it doesn't feel like ashy or anything, but it just feels like when you rub it against your skin, it feels like kind of like sand beads. Which I don't mind. I actually like that. It's like different. Ooh. Then when you touch it, it leaves like 
the little handprint. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna use a brush. Well, let me try to use my fingers, see what happens. Yeah, let me use a brush. I probably won't get a lot of pigment off the brush, but we're gonna try. All right, well, let me get it wet real quick. Cause I know if you get your brush wet and you try to get shades like this, it tends to help the pigment. Okay, got some on the eye. Looking real cute. Let's put that right here. And since BoxyCharm is doing this, I wonder if, what is it, the other description box, Ipsy is going to do their own little eyeshadow. I think they should because they're always competing with each other or whatever. And I did have the Ipsy box for a bit. I think I only had it for like three weeks. Like two or three months. And I decided to quit because I think Boxy Charm was like more better. I feel like the value was much better. And you got mostly certain brands. Because I feel like with the Boxy, or with the, the Ipsy box, you didn't get a lot of exclusive brands. You didn't get like a lot of like name brands. You got mostly brands that nobody has ever heard of. And I felt like Box Charm had more to offer. I feel like that's why I didn't like the Ipsy one, but that's my opinion. I'm not coming for them, so don't leave hate comments in the in the bottom. So okay, it looks better with your handprints versus the brush, but I like this. I like this. This is cute. Ooh, and let me see if I can brush out. Some of the red out. Ooh. And then let me try to swatch the other colors since we're not going to use those, but I can swatch them for you guys real quick. So I'll be right back and I'll swatch these. Alright, so here is the palette all swatched up on my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna this around. Here are the colors swatched on my hands. Starting from the boxy, I mean, boxy charmer full size. Oh, that would be better. And then exclusive spoiler and lux. I really like the gold. It kind of looks like the Fenty um, Beauty Trophy Wife, kind of. Because it's like that intense glow. And then on this arm, focus. We have unboxing sneak peek premium, which actually looks like a little bit my skin tone. Swipe up, pop up, and cup of joe. I feel like this is such a cute palette to have in the collection if you do enjoy makeup and you do have box try. I think this is a wonderful addition to have. And I feel like I'll just use it for the shimmers because I really do like this formula of the swipe up. I I've never seen anything like it before. And I just feel like it's very unique. And I also like the blue charmer shade. And the exclusive gold shade. So I feel like this is such a cute palette. I like this palette. Will I use it on the daily basic? Probably not. But I will use it just for the shimmers. So I felt like this box was a little bit. I'm going to say it was okay. But I feel like since we did have an exclusive palette that they did release. I feel like it was pretty good. But out of everything else I'm going to use out of this box is probably the palette, the tweezers. I'm not sure how I feel about this. If I don't like it, I'll probably give it to somebody else. Probably a co-worker or whatnot. And the... 
I don't know how I feel about this lip gloss. I kind of hate it, but yet at the same time, the more I stare at it, I'm starting to like it. But let me see how I look with this eyeshadow look with some mascara and lashes. So I'll be right back again. All right, so we're back, and this is what the look finishing look looks like with the lashes and the setting spray. And I did not put any highlighter on because I thought, I don't know, I want to look plain today. So this box, what I feel about it. Okay, so the what, the tweezers. I'm not a tweezer kind of girl when I put on my lashes, so I tried to put it on and it didn't work for me. I felt like. It wasn't for me, but I mean, when I set them down, I did use the this part to set them down. But applying them with this, it didn't work out for me. So, I don't want to go for these kind of tweezers for the lashes because it's safer. I don't feel like I'm going to stab my eye off. So, I'm still going to keep these because I can always pick out my chin hairs or whatever. So, they're still pretty good and sturdy. And the lip corrector scene, I'm still going to try this. I'm going to give you guys an update probably for like a good couple of weeks. So I'm going to give that a go see if not. Give it to somebody I know. The eyebrow thing. I feel iffy about this because when I did apply on, it did take a couple of layers to show pigment. But since I already have dark hairs, I won't think that will affect it. But I'll give you guys an update about this too. And I'm just gonna keep wearing the gloss because I don't know. I feel like I can pull it off, but at the same time, I can't, I don't feel like I could. But I'm still keeping it because it smells like peppermint, and I kind of like that. All right, and then the palette. I like it. I'm not gonna say I love it because there's a couple I. Sh I don't feel like I'm gonna use it on a daily basis, but I do like that shimmer, especially this one because it feels like sand. I don't know why. I just enjoy that, but. It's cute. It's iconic because it's Foxy's charm with their own eyeshadow palette. I think they're going to come up with their own makeup line because I know we did get brushes from them and then now that eyeshadow. But we'll see. Hopefully in the future we'll get some more products there from them. So I already tied up everything. How much everything was retail for. So this box is retail for $302. And that's pretty good especially since this is $200. That's mostly the whole box and then the palette is 39 so basically if you just want the palette you're getting your money's worth because it's the basic box is 25 and I think it's all worth it it's just I didn't want the tweezer I wouldn't I wanted that cherry cleansing serum or the cherry serum thing but hey it's okay so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like down below leave a comment and if you want to sign up for Boxy Charm, my link's down below. So, bye.